Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to combine multiple NURBS curves into one object. Um, the first thing we're going to do is make our curves. So let's say we start with two circles and a square. Let's say you want this to be one object. Uh, let's say we're using it as a controller for a rig. Now what we've noticed is that we've got two separate circles and a square composed of four individual lines and we can move everything together but the workflow is just a bit messy if we do it like that. Um, so if we want this all to be one object the first thing we have to do is highlight everything, go up to modify, freeze transformations, options and we're just going to make sure everything's on its default settings um, and now we hit apply. You may notice nothing really happens but if we go to our rotated circle it no longer has a rotation value on it. Um, so it, everything's been reset down to default values. Uh, if you want, you can go up to edit, delete by type history. Uh, you don't have to, it just kind of maybe makes things cleaner. Um, the next thing we're going to do is create an empty group and we do that by holding control or command on a Mac and pressing G. And that creates our null one group, which we're going to call controller and that's going to be our final object um, and I'll show you how to do that now if you go to our outliner in the first at the top it says display show and help if you click display and go down to shapes you'll see everything has a plus next to it and we want to open all of these as much as we can so there shouldn't be a plus left we can do this all at once by holding shift and clicking on a plus and that opens the entire hierarchy at once now if we can uh, select our first squiggly line shape, only the squiggly line shapes is what we want to select. And then now I can hold control and select the rest of them. Make sure everything's highlighted. And now we finally select our controller, our empty group. We go down to our mailbox down at the bottom of your screen and uh, type in parent minus R minus s and it should look like that um, and now if we hit enter it's all joined into this one group under controller so our empty group is now filled with all of our individual shapes and we've got a whole bunch of empty groups here which we can now go ahead and delete now if we go back to display turn off shapes we've only got one object and it's everything it's all of our NURBS curves. So we can move them all together, we can scale them all together, we can uh, oop, rotate them all together, and there you have it, everything's on one shape. Uh, thank you very much for watching.